Another business has closed in the Dundalk area, and this time it was Phase 4 Liquors on Merritt Boulevard. The business establishment was closed for failure to pay rent. There is also a lot of discussion about alleged fraudulent business dealings. The owner of Phase 4 Liquors has also wound up in hot water with the State of Maryland Lottery and Gaming Commission, as well as multiple businesses from out of state. And ladies and gentlemen, this is only the tip of the iceberg of the things that I have learned about Tim Faisenbaker after meeting him when he was running for the Baltimore County Council seat in 2018. At first, I thought Tim was a very nice guy who had it together. But unfortunately, a very dark side of Tim began to slowly emerge, which was, to put it mildly, a very bizarre and extremely confusing experience. Because wherever Tim went, trouble and insanity soon followed. Part of that insanity was all of the peace orders that Tim was involved with with his friends and business associates. It wasn't hard to pick up on these things because what was happening to Tim were things that just didn't happen to normal people. Tim has cost a lot of people a lot of money as well as many sleepless nights since I met him. Tim is finally starting to pay the price for his never-ending series of soulless acts upon nearly everyone around him. Although Tim's long list of victims would like to see justice served, they have a great concern for his wife and kids and wish them the very best. And I share their concern for his family and can only hope that in the long run, Tim Faisenbaker will see the error in his ways and choose to treat people much better than he has in the past.